Good YouTube man, it's Gabriel, just another fan TV. Back at the other video, man. Like the content of this video, go ahead and smash that like button, like the content of this channel. Go ahead and subscribe, man. Look, so we gotta get right into it, man. Odell Beckham was officially announced as a Baltimore Raven today. So let's talk about some things from the press conference that uh stood out to me, and let's just go right into it. Alright, so look, first things first, we gotta talk about Lamar Jackson, obviously. Alright, so Odell Beckham sits down, you know, they ask him how he's doing, this and that. Then really question one, just pop it right off. Lamar Jackson, right? Have you spoken with Lamar Jackson? Do you think he'd be the quarterback this and that? Now, Lamar Jackson, according to Odell Beckham, gave him no assurances about him being a QB next year. Now, he said that he obviously came here with the thought, with the intent, with the assumption that Lamar Jackson will be his quarterback, that Lamar Jackson will be the guy throwing him passes. He loves Lamar's game. He's loved Lamar's game for, for many years. Uh, that's evident and apparent. I remember when, you know, obviously when Odell was on Cleveland and we played and you know the Ravens played the uh, the Browns. Um, you can always see Odell purposely go out his way to talk to Lamar Jackson before the game. So obviously the respect and admiration is always there. Um, he actually compared Lamar Jackson to Michael Vick, which is something that we heard a lot. He said that you know he when he was in Atlanta for a little while, meeting Michael Vick and seeing that the impact he had on kids reminds him a lot of Lamar Jackson in, in that way as well. All right, so look. Um, that's the big news, right? He he said Lamar just to give him no assurances. Also, they talked about uh, Eric DaCosta. Eric DaCosta said that him and Lamar Jackson still have talks ongoing. Um, they haven't, I think, spoken on the phone as recently as like last week or something like that. But um, they asked him about the trade request. He said, yes, of course, we've talked since the trade request um, that all plans for next year quarterback involve Lamar Jackson being the quarterback. Okay, I mean, that. what else is he going to say right there? That's that's obvious as well. John Harbaugh was along the same lines, all right? So um, there's nothing really new or controversial that come out of the Lamar Jackson segment of the press conference. Um, Odell Beckham is pretty much the only new face, the only new uh, person talking about Lamar Jackson. And he said that, yeah, hey, look, I'm not going to get into contract stuff because, you know, that's for, you know, Lamar and DaCosta and Harbaugh, whatever, to handle that. But I came here with the expectation that Lamar Jackson would be his be my quarterback. Now he did say nothing is guaranteed in life. There are no assurances in life. You know you gotta live every day. So um, Odell came across real. Um, he was composed. He seemed happy. He seemed excited. He seems so, he's not a guy that was relieved just to be signed on a team and excited to have a mission going forward. So um, as far as like I said, things with Lamar Jackson, it still remains. It's 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 up in the air right now. Um, I do. I think that it's a better chance that he's back now. I do, uh, because this is a win now kind of move, and Lamar Jackson gives the Bears the best chance to win now. So that's how I view it. Um, now, as far as things that Odell said that were interesting, right, uh, or that just in the press conference in general, the Ravens have been after Odell for more than a year. Uh, DeCosta said that they started really last October. Um, so not not even last October, I'm sorry, but but previously before that, they they been after Odell for for quite a long time. All right, coming back from the injury, okay. Um, also, the fact that uh, you know he has a great relationship with Ty Munkin. Uh, we know that Ty Munkin has been talking up Odell for quite a while since he stepped into the building. He brought up Odell back, you know what I mean. So uh, he's excited to have him in the building. He's excited to have him here. Um, but the main thing, the main reason that Odell Beckham signed with the Ravens is something that we heard, something that I made a video about, was that the Ravens made him feel wanted. The Ravens really pursued him heavily. Um, he confirmed that Steve Bashadi reached out to him and wasn't even talking about numbers or business, just kind of talked up to him man to man. Talked about you know his impact on the team, talked about how he had a vision for Odell Beckham playing for the Ravens here. All right, And that was a big deal in having Odell Beckham come here. Just to see that a guy like the you know the owner of the team would go out of his way to talk to him, call him, and you know frequently uh, to be on his line and really say, hey, look, man, we really, really want you here. We really think you could be a big part of what we're going to do here. Um, so that's what he said. He said the Ravens made him feel wanted. Now a lot of people will say, well, obviously, well, the Ravens paid the most money. That's why you feel wanted. Um, he said that you know it's more about yes, the money is there, but it's more about the fact that. Um, he, he could have vision. They, they showed that a vision of what he could be um, in this offense. You know, I think he mentioned kind of like other teams would say, like, yeah, we would love to have you here, but it's a difference. It's a difference between we would love to have you here and you know we want you here. We need you here. So uh, the Ravens kind of gave him that we want you, we need you kind of feeling. So that's why he said he signed with the Ravens. Now you can take what you want from that. You can say, hey, look, man, it's all about the money. He says otherwise. So um, I um, I thought that was interesting. Um, 
EDC talked about how Odell Beckham, the sign of a guy like Odell Beckham, takes them over the top. Uh, is the kind of receiver that they've been trying to track down the free agency for for quite a while, right? Um, they are a big fan of his game. They're a big fan of everything that Odell Beckham can bring to the Ravens and everything that he can bring to the uh, to the team as far as leadership as well. Um, you know, it was mentioned about him being a great teammate in the locker room, looking out for the younger guys. He mentioned that, you know, he looks forward to mentoring some of the younger guys on his team. You know, you have Rashad Bateman and guys like that and passing on what he's learned in this league to them. So I thought that the press conference all around was it was a good vibe. Right. Um, Odell seemed, like I said, in a really good place. Uh, you can hear his, you can hear his son uh, all throughout the uh, press conference. You know, he was excited up there seeing his dad up there. Um, or he was just tired, you know. You know how you know you never know with babies, but um, but either way, o Odell seemed really excited, really genuinely happy to be here. Uh, so other things that he said was that you know he talked to Marlon Humphrey. You know, if you remember him and Marlon had that uh, on field fight where Marlon really choked out Odell really on the field. But he said that, that they've talked and you know everything is cool with them. He has no beef for nobody. You know, it's just football. And that you know, he can't wait to compete against a guy like Marlon Humphrey, who was an all pro corner in the league, pro bowl corner, one of the best guys in the league. Can't wait to compete against that guy. He said at the end of the day, though, that we're teammates, you know, so everything that's what happens on the field is on the field. And, you know, we're going to rock, rock together as a team. So um, I like what I heard from the interview, bro. I really did. Um, he says that he feels pretty good as far as his knee. He went into some of that with the Rams. And he, when he went to the Rams, uh, when they did some of his physical stuff, they said that he had no ACL. So whatever happened to his first ACL surgery, they kind of botched it, it seemed like. And that they said that, hey, look, man, you know, you could just get the, get a surgery done here. That, that'll probably end your season, but you could just get it done here. And he's decided to play. Um, I think he said that was like week nine of the, the Rams Super Bowl year. So what was that, 2021? Um, he decided to play. So, you know, he went out there, was a warrior, and ended up, unfortunately, you know, obviously completely turned to ACL in, um, in a Super Bowl. But he says now from there he's 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 feeling good he's cutting well. Um, he said that uh, he can't give you an exact date of when he he turned the corner as far as his recovery, but that he's in a good spot and that there's there's another you know five months before we really got to play games. So the point that he's at a good spot right now and five months will be in an even better spot, right? So um, when I listen to the press conference, when I listen to John Harbaugh, I listen to Eric DeCosta, I listen to Odell. Um, it all seemed like people who wanted to come together and wanted to be together and wanted to help the Ravens reach that next level, that next step, all right? Um, obviously, you know, there was a lot of questions about Lamar Jackson, and, you know, uh, of course there were. But um, as far as that goes, the, it hasn't, like I said, it hasn't really changed on that end, all right? Um, they want Lamar Jackson here. They're not going to go into details about the contract. Harbaugh said he's the only quarterback I envision being here. Eric Cross is the same thing. Now, obviously, they're not going to say anything outrageous in a press conference that's going to give the impression that they're trading Lamar Jackson tomorrow. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's good to hear the words. Um, you know how much how much truth they have to him. We don't know. Um, now, something else I thought was interesting that Eric DaCosta said that he's excited for the wide receiver room as a whole, and he even mentioned Tylen Wallace and James Prochet by name. And the only reason I really thought that was interesting is because you thought I would to me I thought those those were two guys that were on the very very edge of the roster on the bubble. But he probably feels like he doesn't want to alienate any players on the roster. So, you know, give those guys a shout out. Say, yeah, we're excited to see what their development is too uh, next year. So um, the Ravens have upgraded their wide receiver run by adding Odell Beckham here. Uh, we'll talk about Odell Beckham a little bit more tomorrow too because there's some stuff in the media that I don't really like how they're, how they're viewing the signing. But I, like I said, I'll talk about that tomorrow. But as far as the press conference, um, Odell seemed like a guy, like I said, he was relieved. He was in good spirits. He's still like a guy that's, you know, excited to prove people wrong. He mentioned that he's been an underdog um, his whole life, pretty much leading to him exploding into a star at, in the Giants. But now he feels like he's back in that underdog state because people are doubting him coming off the injury. So listen, man, I've said this before, man. The Ravens and Odell Beckham are kind of, a, it's, it's really, it's kind of crazy, but they're really a perfect marriage, right? Odell Beckham is 30 plus years old, um, but he's coming, but he's a guy who wants to prove that he's not done, you know? It's the same. It's the same exact thing as Steve Smith, Anquan Bold, and Derek Mason. It's the same exact story. It's just packaged in the, you know, the superstar uh, uh, shadow of Odell Beckham. You know, what I mean, those guys were more known as hard worker, tough guys, and Odell doesn't have that kind of uh, persona. But you know, he gets the job done. And he's he's a hard worker as well. So um, Odell Beckham wants to prove people wrong, and that's kind of one of the main things I got from him that he's excited to play football again. He's excited just to you know. 
help a team win. So I thought it was a good press conference. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments. And if you stay to this point in the video, man, consider hitting that subscribe button. More Ravens content to come. Uh, it's Gabriel, just on the Fan TV. I'm out.